Sarah has a daughter called Mia who is looking forward to her birthday party. Her dad Pete and stepmother Denise will be attending along with her stepbrother Toby. Sarah picks up her daughter from school and finds it strange when Mia tells her that she misses people she's never met all the time. Once home, they notice that the garage door is up. Mia then stumbles upon a rabbit that she decides to keep and names it Rabbit. Soon after, her dad, Denise, and Toby arrive. Sarah learns that the couple are trying for a baby. They then hear Mia screaming as little Toby hit her. The two mothers intervene and calm the kids. That night, Sarah frees the rabbit, but it bites her. Mia observes her from the balcony. The next day, Mia wears a bunny mask at school. She refuses to take it off and won't kiss Sarah goodbye. Sarah gets a call from Sandy regarding her mom, Joan, who is at the nursing home. When Sarah picks up her daughter from school, she finds her hiding and panting. She bathes her and asks if anyone is bullying her. Mia tells her that she misses her mommy, but Sarah points out that she is her mom. Mia asks about her grandma Joan's whereabouts. She also wants to see photos of her. In the garage, Sarah finds a picture of her and her sister Alice when they were kids. Mia takes it, claiming that it's hers, but Sarah orders her to go back to sleep. Later that night, Mia is unable to sleep. Sarah discovers that the little girl took the picture to bed with her. Mia says that it's her in the picture, but Sarah explains that the picture was taken before she was born. Mia starts screaming and saying that she wants to see Joan. At the nursing home, Sandy explains to Sarah that Joan suffers from dementia and keeps asking for her in moments of lucidity. When Joan meets Mia, she calls her Alice and starts crying. Sandy and Sarah separate Joan and Mia from each other. Mia shouts that she doesn't want to go and wants to stay with Joan. Sarah discovers that her daughter has been making dark drawings depicting a person and a bunny. On the beach, Mia asks her mom to call her Alice. Pete advises Sarah to let Mia have a relationship with her grandma. Sarah refuses and takes Mia to her childhood home. Mia wants to sleep in Alice's room, but Sarah drags her out. Sarah finally tells Mia that she had a sister called Alice, but she went missing when she was only seven. Mia tells her that she is back, but Sarah orders her to stop saying that. When Sarah takes Mia to see her grandma again, Joan recognizes her as Mia. The little girl loses her temper, slaps her mom, and flees. Sarah tells Mia that she and Alice were different, and they fought a lot. Their dad used to catch wild rabbits as they were pests, and Sarah used to help him check the traps, but Alice didn't like that. Mia suddenly starts shouting, prompting Sarah to call Pete and seek his help. Sarah gets rid of all the pictures and puts them in the barn which is full of rabbit traps. She then informs Joan that she'll be selling the house. She reminds her that Alice is dead and she's not coming back. Joan starts screaming, saying that she should have never left Alice with her. When Sarah returns home, she finds that the pictures are put back up. Later that night, Mia has a nightmare. Sarah starts seeing things and imagines that Mia's head is bleeding. She almost hurts her with the scissors. Sarah hears as the barn's door is thudding. She opens the cabinet and imagines Alice coming out of it. She chokes her and accuses her of locking her in. Sarah hits her with a rabbit trap. When Mia shows up, we see that Sarah imagined the whole thing. Mia runs away and Sarah chases her. She bangs on the door and apologizes to Alice, but then hits her head and loses consciousness. A flashback shows Sarah chasing Alice while holding the rabbit trap. She then pushed her sister off the cliff. Pete arrives and Sarah is shown drawing on the floor. The pair then looks for Mia in the woods. Sarah then imagines a body floating and thinks that Alice is drowning. Pete jumps in the water and saves her. They then spot Mia hiding in the bushes. Sarah visits Joan and tells her that Alice is dead but doesn't confess that she is the one who killed her. Sarah then lies next to her daughter Mia and apologizes to Alice for hurting her. Alice calls her a monster and Sarah agrees with her. The next morning, Sarah sees Alice taking Mia to the cliff.